Why are you doing this, Eden? I need to go home. I need Zach. Wow, it's very demanding. You haven't been taking your pills, have you? You know what this means, Kendall? We have to go back to the chloroform. Don't, Aiden, please, please don't do this. Don't do this. Wait, were you looking out the door? You think, you think Zach's gonna burst through here and, and rescue you? It's not gonna happen. Just let me go home. What makes you think Zach wants you home? Well, he doesn't know the truth. Your mother seemed pretty convinced. I'm sure she passed along what you told her yesterday. You made me say those things. You made me convince her that we're having an affair. But Zach knows my heart. Zach knows that he is the only man that I love. All the emails that I sent him from, from the church and from the boarding house. Yeah. Yeah. What, you read those? You intercepted them? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't all to do. So Zach never got any of them? What, so Zach thinks this is real? Zach, Zach thinks Zach, that Zach's you and I Zach's not gonna forgive you for, for sleeping with me. Well, you're wrong. You're wrong. Zach has forgiven me before. It took him a long time, but Zach forgave yeah. me. Not this time. I thought you'd ask about Spike or Ian. She always fought for those boys, always. Thought for them to be healthy, be strong, be alive. Now nothing. Silence. If she had asked to see the boys, would you keep her from them? No, you wouldn't. You're not that kind of man. You love those boys so much that you want what's best for them. And you know that that means having their mama in their lives. Ma, what if the mama doesn't want the boys in her life? I don't believe that. I think Kendall waited to call, hoping that maybe some of the pain and hurt would be done. Should have fought for those kids. Yeah, you're right. But we don't have all the facts. All we know for sure is that right now you are hurting so bad you'd like to tear the whole world apart with your bare hands. You know it's true what they say. Time does heal. Okay, there is one big fat problem with this great plan of yours. I'm in love with Zach. I will never, ever love you. This is insane. This is this is crazy. Hey, no, no, don't me. touch me. It might be time for you to take another nap. No, don't leave me alone. I said, don't touch me. You know, someday, Kendall. You might feel differently. Housekeeping. I'm fine. In fact, I told the front desk that I don't want to be disturbed now or later. Sorry, sir. <sighs> how, long, how long are you going to keep doing this? Dragging me around the country and drugging me. know what go ahead go ahead do it just go ahead and do it drug me one more time what the hell do i care because you know what i will never never stop dreaming of zach i will only dream of zach news on kendall no no you don't want to hear it but i'm gonna tell you anyway ryan got a call from la so did zach really uh was this the number Did she say anything? No. Did she say anything to Ryan? Did she talk to him? 
Ryan said the voice was muffled. So I traced the call back to a cell phone belonging to Chris Nielsen. No address. So I'm going to give a call to the LAPD. Why would you do that, Jesse? Why would you have the police chase somebody that doesn't want to be found? Now, Zach, she didn't call home. Yeah, maybe she was homesick for a second. Leave it alone, both of you guys. Zach. I thought you should know. Brian got a call from Kendall. I mean, at least he thinks it was Kendall. I know. Jesse came over. I got some calls, too. You did? Well, what happened? What did she say? Nothing. Look, when Ryan got the calls, I mean, all he thought he heard was a muffled voice. What if... What if Kendall was reaching out? I mean, surely you could meet her halfway. There is no halfway for me and Kendall. Zach, I know that somewhere inside you, there are feelings for Kendall. I know that you have children together. You made promises. You made vows. I know you. That doesn't go away just because you're hurt and you're angry. It went away when she chose Aiden. And I made that very clear when she called. So you did speak to her. And you told her it was over? Zach. Zach, you are running on, on sheer emotion. You have put up a wall. You've got to get past that. You're overwhelmed at the moment, but please put your emotions aside and just think. Think clearly. When you spoke to Kendall, do you really think that those were just simple phone calls, or do you think that she was crying out for help? Zach, who knows Kendall better than you do? Who loves her more than you do? Apparently Aiden is in the running. Oh, stop it. Look, we both know this is horrible. We've both been hurt by Kendall's choice, but certainly you must have had at least one moment of doubt that this is really what Kendall wants. And what? Find some hope? I'm not going to set myself up for that. So you have done some thinking about this. Then please, Zach, think some more. I tell you, when I saw Aiden and, and, and Kendall in, in L.A., I wanted to see Kendall. Aiden didn't want me to. When I finally did, Kendall was very tense. She was not herself. And now you say she called and she wouldn't or, or, or couldn't speak? I mean, you saw Kendall with Aiden. Twice. Once in the church. And the other time? In the boarding house. Saw too much. Zach, look, I know that it hurts. But please, please keep on thinking. What about before they left for, for L.A.? Did, did Kendall say anything to you? And I promise... I will never turn my back on you or our family ever again. Never. No lies. Just, just love. I, I will only love you and only you. And I promise I will try. I will try to break up these demons that won't let me sleep at night. And I will try to put out the fires that give them life. We made promises to each other. I promised I wouldn't doubt her anymore, and she promised she wouldn't turn her back on her family. Oh, my God. Do you really think that Kendall would break that vow? Are you breaking yours? Okay. <laughs> 
somebody help me. Hello. Help me. Hello, Aiden. It's Zach. What do you want? My wife. You hurt her and I'll kill you. 